quick and straight to the point split screens guide. There are two ways of using the split screens effect. You can drag it directly on top of any clip, but that means that you will also have to add the same effect to all the other clips. Just know that the source controls won't work because there is only one source, which is the clip that you put the effect on. The second way of using them, which is the method that I recommend, is to stack all your clips one on top of each other, select them all, and then turn them into a fusion clip. If you want to adjust or change any of the clips, you can always right click on it and then open it in timeline. Now onto the effect. Find the split screen effect that you want to use and then drag it onto the fusion clip that you just created. In the inspector, use the source control to select the clip that you want to showcase in that particular screen. Here you can use the transform controls to adjust the position, size and rotation of your clip. And you can also flip it using these two buttons right here. Now the border width control allows you to adjust the thickness of the border. And if you want to get rid of the borders, just set it to zero. Here you also have the color controls if you want to add a specific color to your borders and you can also change the type of color that you want if you want to be more creative with it. There is an extra way of controlling the split screens which is using the fusion overlay in the viewer. To activate it, go down here and turn it on. Now you will be able to adjust your clip's position, size and rotation directly from here. And also you can adjust the gradient settings if you choose the gradient type in the color section. If you don't have the split screens demo, you can find them in the Swalby website. And if you already have them, make sure to check your email to find the latest version of it.